Quiet, please. This is match number four. The force of match between the European team, represented by Padre Carrington and Paul McGinley. Against the United States of America team, represented by Davis Love III and Tiger Woods. The referee for this match is David Price. First on the tee, representing Europe, Padre Carrington. From Dublin, uh, son of uh, a former Irish policeman, a guard. And then he's golf on a golf course which was built by uh, the members, including his father. Four left. Four left. No. On the tee, representing the United States of America, Tiger Woods. I quite know what happened there because it seemed a very peculiar tee shot. Tee shot from Tiger Woods, and because of his rather large win this morning with friend Riley, he's had a little bit more time to digest his lunch, and maybe that was the reason why Harrington's tee shot uh, a little bit fast and left a pull hook. But the important thing in foursomes golf is not to try and give holes away when you're in trouble. Don't uh, compound matters and get into deeper trouble, but try and use the strength of your partner with the next shot. Thank you. If uh, McGinley can get Harrington within short game range, you know what uh, Aldrig is like when he has a wedge in his hand and a chip of the putt for a four, he will produce a half. And you might be doing well either which way, just to try and get this back on the fairway. As if he's trying to be fairly bold with it. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he was a Gaelic uh, football player in his times. A little bit swashbuckling from Paul McGinley with his second shot down the first hole. Shattered there by a Detroit cop. Love with second shot. The tiger's drive, and that's not where he wants to finish up on the top level. He was hoping that that would come down the little slope and leave Tiger Woods with a reasonably straight putt. Number two and the world's number six playing alongside each other. It means that uh, in the afternoon when it's foursomes and they're only playing one ball, it it does calm down a lot. Uh, pace seems to be a bit slower. Going to swing a lot as it comes down the hill here. This is for three. Keep in mind they've got two putts for it, so two putts to win the hole. So uh, Tiger's not likely to go crazy about this one. Just wants to make sure he stops it near the hole. But uh, I tell you, this has got to come along the ridge and then down a very steep slope. Now it'll get in speed. And so that's uh, very well done. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if that putt's conceded. Sent out to be a steadying influence on Ian Porter, and uh, because he was doing that, he 
didn't manage to make a birdie himself. Well, that's five, of course, for the Europeans. And uh, the Americans have a putt to win the hole with a par four. Sergio Garcia is talking. <laughs> Easy for the Americans, and I don't think it was Sergio Garcia that was talking. It was uh, Paul McGinley, and they don't look up better. At the second, just trying to play it back onto the fairway, but from maybe rough to rough, I think. Second hole, second shot. Uh, Tiger Woods, uh, Harrington, and McGinley in trouble. Remember? I think uh, I think the Americans are going to run away with this one. Yesterday produced the show of the day with the metal wood to the green, which finished about six feet away. Today, off the drive of Davis Love, his second career is against the flagstick. Wonderful iron shot, and they are looking very relaxed. Uh, Harrington uh, playing his fourth here. I remember Tiger hit the stick with his second. Drive, Potter. That's good. That's good, says uh, Harrington. So, uh, an Eagle conceded, and uh, Love and Woods go two up on Harrington and McGinley after just two holes. Tiger. Again, no surprise, Tiger handling the part threes. These towering iron shots, and another brilliant iron there, and of course it leaves him the shots into the long holes as well for his playing partner. Good strategy by Hal Sutton. The uh, thoughts of uh, Langer having uh, these two together as we watch uh, Addington follow Woods at the short third. and uh, love closer than McGinley. This is McGinley from the front of the third green. For a two. I'm going to get that. Beautiful putt. For the cast iron three for the uh, Irish duo. When we saw uh, Paul McGinley's attempt to add a birdie. Now it's Davis Love. Oh, and he leaves his short as well. Well, do you really ask Tiger to putt these? Of course you do. Well, they have asked Tiger. Formality for Tiger Woods. Putt, Tiger. <laughs> This time, uh, Davis Love has put uh, Tiger into the rough at the fourth. Tell you what, it's a long way down, top of the hill. You can see the hole cut in the front left of this fourth green. Well, it's 17 paces from the front, but in the area it's in. The green is not that deep, but no more than a sand do line. Don't! Don't! Not quite there. Well, he knew if it didn't go, it was going to go down that slope. Good shot, Tiger. <laughs> Beautiful. 
beautiful t shirt here. Yeah. The Europeans. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just yeah. in the edge of the rough, I think. Probably, I'd have a check here. stuff there. Pulled a couple of short irons in the morning matches, but this is an absolute beauty. The first try, Paul. Fantastic. Some doubt about how they can uh, see the line here, uh, Dennis. As I mentioned that, uh, yes, often it's. Uh, I mentioned yesterday the first line you see is often the correct line, but you've also got to go with what your tummy tells you. I think a lot of time with putts, and if you feel you can get it in on that line, it, it's amazing how often it'll go in. But the big thing is when you're not 100% sure where you want to start it, it's difficult to make a good stroke. Big secret of putting is to make a good strike. Like that. Do you think they're happy with that one? <laughs> well, that's so Addington and McGinley win the hole, the fourth, and uh, Love and Woods are only one up. to move it even from the semi the players are coming short that's a an awkward little chip from the front of the screen he's got a Celtic scarf uh, hanging from his bag uh, Paul McGinley's a great Celtic supporter goes up to watch the Glasgow Celtic play in the Scottish League he would have been disappointed this week in the Champions League they lost 3-1 to Barcelona Barcelona with the former Celtic uh, striker Henrik Larsson scoring for Barcelona Point seven. A beautifully placed tee shot from Tiger Woods leaves Davis Love in the perfect position. It's a lofted iron for him. Big tall man, but the swing is beautifully balanced. Slightly tight, but hardly bad. You can't see him there. But it's a tiger. But to have the hole by Davis Love. Sixth, I would think. 
and, uh, but they're so fit. But it's the mental tiredness more than the physical tiredness that gets them. Ultra. Al Sutton, I think that was his wife we saw him, wasn't it, at the, uh, the opening ceremony. This is a tower of inspiration to him. Let's see what Tiger does with his long buck shot at six. Fantastic. Not dead. I admit still to being a little surprised that none of the players have attempted to go for the screen or two and everybody's had a crack. David Toms might face something similar. Bird times for McGinley. Up the hill, six. Come on. No, oh, if it only had hit it. Such a popular figure on the European tour, Paul McGinley. when there's a Ryder Cup on, all the Irish come out and uh, all the fans of golf are here. Oh, I thought we were going to get our first little chip in there. And it didn't happen. It was a beautiful shot from Harrington. Problems for Tiger. Awkward start, feet in the sand, ball in the thick rough, chipping on to the down slope. Tidy shot, but he's left his partner. Davis love a little bit of work to do. But, uh, Davis has putted particularly well on Saturday. Europeans having already made four clear cut case here for Davis love. Needs to go in for a four and a half on the seventh. And Tiger getting in the act in an effort to help his partner read the lines. In the shadows spot shouldn't be all that difficult in that mottled shadow there to see the line quite a nice position really for Davis Love and it is one of the flatter greens there's not uh, massive borrows but even the subtlety here on these greens makes holding out difficult yeah. doesn't waste any time once he gets over the ball hits it fairly quick does the preparation work Steps up and bangs it in, and once again, Tiger flashing the uh, ivories there. Definitely think the power players here this week have an advantage to some of the long par fours. Play the second shots into the greens. With more loft on the club, the ability to get more high in the air of the top of the green helping them to settle the ball quickly on the putting surface. Wood second to the eighth, up the hill. That's stopped on a six, but could have done with half a club more. And you're quite difficult to stop on a six, but over here. Maybe <laughs> a dime or a nickel. Sent now for uh, the Irish if they're going to stop the ball on the scent because it's all Euros now. Or as uh, Dennis Hutchison points out, Euro. One Euro, two Euro, three Euro, but uh, 
So many people say Euros now that uh, it's becoming almost uh, accepted. But uh, I prefer Euro. Paul McGinley striding out of the back there. Now one down here, but he's got a birdie putt, but <laughs> from very, very long range. But I don't think it'll be him to go. Is it him to go first? Yes, it seems to be. David's love might have been further away, but uh, McGinley then for uh, three. This would be one of the longest putts we've seen hold if this goes in to win the hole. What is it, uh, Warren, that makes a good putter? You're probably asking the wrong man because the man sitting alongside me has probably hold more putts than I care to think about. But uh, you can strike the ball squarely right in the back and out of the middle of the putter consistently. You get a lot of good roll. You're going to hold more than your fair share. But, uh, gunning that one past the hole a little bit, uh, Davis Love, but he knows his got one of the best holder outers in the game following him so he won't mind giving the odd one a rush or two because Tiger almost invariably holds these without even looking at them. Complicated theories don't work with putting. Good advice then from uh, Warren Humphreys when you go out to play your own game at uh, the club tomorrow or next weekend. Keep it simple. studied that one for a long time. And that's a rare miss, and it's a rare three-putt. Just as I was saying, Davis Love won't mind having a go at the odd one because Tiger's going to hold on coming back, and Tiger doesn't, so... The United States have not got that par here at the ninth. This uh, is McGinley. So often in the past we've seen McGinley shave the hole, hit good putts and not go in, but he did, he loved to hold this and be up at the turn. Mm, maybe a misread. But there were two down early on, lost two early holes, so if they do go through the turn, even at even par in this particular match, they'd be quite pleased when they are playing. Woods and Davis Love. This an easier putt for Tiger than he had on the last hole because it's coming back up the hill, whereas the one on eight, he was downhill across the slope. And even he's giving this one a serious glance. How fit does Tiger look? Looking. 
He doesn't really give out too many details about his fitness regime, but I understand that it is punishing. It's something uh, in the region that he's in training. He does a thousand sit-ups a day. And that's a gentle warm-up for him. It's the cardiovascular stuff that he does and the weight training on top of the shots that he hits. He doesn't leave much to chance, but that's two missed putts in a row for the world's number two, and that's rare indeed. So Harrington and McGinley go one up, having been two down. They're one up now on Love and uh, Tiger Woods. Nine holes to play in this fourth game, and uh, at the present moment, uh, Clark and Westwood are five up on uh, Haas and DeMarco. Harrington in trouble on 10. McGinley drove into the green side, a uh, fairway bunker rather. And Harrington not able to get it up onto the green. So a good win for uh, Darren Clark and Lee Westwood. shot of Tiger Woods on the 10th and remember McGinley and Harrington in trouble short in two and at the 10th McGinley facing this awkward shot ball in thick rough green above him it's right high end trying to control though it's wonderful oh it's oh! Fantastic, and still we don't see one go in the hole, and how did that miss? He had a shot yesterday which did hit the flag and it stayed out. And where is the luck of the Irish when you need it? I did think that that one was in. <laughs> Great shot by McGinley. Phenomenally good shot. Just a second while I watch this now. Uh, Dennis Hutchinson passing me a note there to say that uh, Clark and Westwood were in fact only one under. So a half and four at the tenth for Ray uh, Harrington and McGinley and Love and uh, Woods. So uh, the Irish remain one up. Going uphill to the eleventh, Paul McGinley one up. Then yeah. With Harrington, Davis Love through the green in the company of Tiger Woods, so a slight advantage to Europe. Tiger Woods all the way through the green on 11, playing his third shot, and he's fluffed it. Seemed to be on a little bit of a sandy lie there. Love for par. And if he doesn't hold this one, the Irish will have two to win the hole. <laughs> no, they might have three. Tickling it down towards the hole, but they've got two for it. And the Irish go two up on the fancied uh, Love and Woods. Having been two down after two. Wonderful recovery, but... Davis Love, third shot to the 12th hole. You can see the ball ahead of him. Ginley. Keep on that one. It's down on the lower level. You can see how narrow the uh, top plateau is there on 12. Not much depth to the green if you go straight at the flag. Bunker short, bunker long. They team up so well, they, don't they, uh, Harrington and uh, me. Ginley? Great respect for each other. But a tough uh, shot facing Paul now. He's only got uh, 11 pieces if he goes straight up the flag between the two bunkers. Going uphill, 
tends to hit these shots with a low flight. They stay there. Nicely judged, he keeps it up on the top level. It's an excellent opportunity for Harrington to make a birdie. is a birdie putt here at uh, the 12th. Uh, the par five, the only par five on the back nine. Tiger's game's gone a little bit lackluster over the last nine holes or so. I'm not really sure. I mean, they've been under a bit of pressure. They got away to a good start, but I must admit, I was rather surprised. He seemed to so enjoy himself with Chris Riley this morning. I was inclined to think that uh, he'd come out and play the foursomes with him as well this afternoon. I think that's a feature of this particular contest between the two nations. This time, there's so much interchange between the players. for a birdie to win the hole on 12. Go, go, go. You better see that one in as well, uh, I would they think. Uh, give it a go. Well, they've been giving it. Uh, and so it's a half, so they remain two up through 12. Six holes to play, and Harrington McGinley have a two-hole lead over Love and Woods. Garcia and Donald uh, are two up on uh, Furyk and Funk with uh, five to play. It's rather a nasty spot for the hole here, don't you think, Warren? Right in the back of the green, and we've seen a couple of players slip through into the bunker at the back, and if you do, you're virtually dead. Yes, and that's why it's so important to try and find a shot that you can almost push in up the slope. You just want to pitch it into the centre of the green and have it skidding on the first bounce and then get some check but how you do that when you're playing downhill is quite difficult isn't it because you've uh, automatically got height built into the shot from the elevated tee playing such a short iron in it doesn't really allow you to play that shot so you've got to take uh, heart in your mouth and try and throw the ball up in the air all the way to the back flag and that takes an enormous amount of courage to hit good shots in the centre of the green, force the American side to try and make the birdies. And that's where the mistakes can come from. Good shot. A little bit short. Sounds as if they're wishing the ball away from the hole, I'm sure they're not. And there have been a few. Tiger Woods. Into the par 313. Is that in the back bunker? I think.
think it's spear right in the top of the trap, and if it is, I wonder whether that's plugged right on the top of the sand. That you for to finish in that situation. Well, you need more than imagination to somehow get that into any other hole. You'll need a great spoonful of luck. Harrington McGinley two up, so two putts from here would be a real boost. is where the concentration has got to be sharp. I'm just asking for the flag to be put in as he's putting from the sun into the shadows. That was just going through my mind as well. It doesn't make it any easier. Dennis, the sun's been a bit of a problem all day today. It has, yeah, when they're playing into it early on. And it's there again tonight as it uh, goes down in the afternoon. And the whole pole. Up the slope, it's coming. And this is brilliant from McGinley. You're going to leave it anywhere, leave it short on that particular putt. You don't want to go beyond the hole. And there's the ball, Warren, of uh, Tiger Woods, which Phil Mickelson now has to somehow, which I beg your pardon, which Davis Love now has to uh, extricate from the sand. Well, I like the caption to win the hole. <laughs> Stay in the top level. Oh, it's beginning to come. It's be no. Has it stopped? Is it still rolling? It's still on the way. Well, it's one of those cases when you knew. Before you began, you were on a hiding to nothing. <laughs> Which gets me back to the point. I'm not sure. I think that's gone. Mistake was made from Tiger. He's made a few mistakes on this back nine. I don't know whether he's he is tired having played all the matches. And uh, he's played a lot of good golf. And this is the first spell where he's made a number of mistakes consecutively, which has affected the performance for his side. Maybe just no one these days can absorb playing in all five matches of playing very top of their game. Well, he's one of the fittest athletes in the world, and he can't, and it's, uh, it's very, very difficult. You know, but it, it's difficult to leave Tiger Woods out of the side. He probably wants to play all five matches. And, uh, I, I think, and they also so seldom play 36 holes. Well, the other thing is you're not going to win a match, any match here, unless you play subpar golf. No one can play subpar golf around this course every single time they go out. You're not going to be at uh, your physical peak in each round. Even when Tiger has won major championships, sometimes he's had to dig deep and find a way to salvage sometimes some bad shots and just get round in par. You can't afford to do that in match play. And yeah, the greens uh, take so much out of you. Yeah, you be sort of constantly on guard. You never have a straightforward putt. Still, I suppose he was moaning too much when they were up early in the match and made the eagle on the second hole. Things were going along swimmingly. And since then, the tides turned for the Irish. Realistically, this par putt here for Tiger Woods for a half against Harrington and McGinley. Well, McGinley's left it well short. Davis Lowe trying to make four at this par three thirteenth to force the Europeans to hold their putt for the win. Well done. Harrington has a putt 
to win the hole and uh, put the Europeans three up with five to play. <laughs> no putts are taken lightly, are they? Three, three and a half feet. I'd say. It's a good stride, isn't it? You're entitled to repair pitch marks. Well, the lads are out giving them uh, all the support they require. One or two regular members I saw there of the European Tour, and even one from the Seniors Tour, David J. Russell there. Tommy Horton's also here this week uh, from uh, the Senior Tour. Roger Chapman. Roger Chapman's an observer, isn't he? This for the win for Harrington. None of these putts are easy, but uh, Harrington made it look easy there as he goes three up with uh, McGinley on Love and uh, Woods. Five to play. Yes, and I think it's also down to Clark and Westwood who. Uh, one in the top match, put a lot of blue colours on the board early on. Big part for this 14th. Fairway not found, makes the second shot a little tough. So you know fairway bunker, the whole king's a little to the players right as they play it. As we uh, catch up with Davis He certainly has hit a long one right down the middle of the fairway, so the Irish are not in the pole position here off the tee. Well, I hate to say it, I thought Tiger was going to have nothing more than a flip with a wedge. I agree. Which uh, he might decide to go for an aerial route. This one's got to be trundled down the valley for Harrington coming from the rough. I'm staggered. There's <laughs> <laughs> a whole barrage of Europeans in this bottom match. Watching Tiger Woods try and find a way to get this one close. Make a bit of a charge. Get back into this match. Europeans on the green. And in the middle, pump for a birdie. where he thinks the ball will break you've got to work out the speed he, got, he can't hit it for you but I mean you, you just confirm the feeling of how the ball's going to break and help yeah but if you're looking at a putt and you think it's two inches right and the man that you're playing with says six inches right you're in trouble aren't you no oh, well what he says to you you always say to your partner first well, what do you think and if he says that you think that you say I agree with you <laughs> yeah you got to have like-minded folk together he barely started that ball Chance here on the 14th for Paul McGinley to go to school on the part of Davis Love. He knows it's quick. To get them to dorm it.
exactly what your partner wants. If it doesn't go in, leave it stone dead and walk on to the next hole. Three up and four to play. Third is hole to play. Three wood for Harrington off the 15th. Bunker at 2.40 in the middle of the fairway. The whole dog legs away to the left. That's as good as golf. His timing has been really quite beautiful. Wonderful to watch his swing. So fluid and strong. Tiger, three wood. Going to follow yeah. Harrington yeah. around the corner of the dog leg. That's perfect. Good. Into the 15th green, Davis Love. Old cut front right. Goal. And he's played it. Tough to get it close. Fred Funks is the best shot we've seen in it so far this afternoon. to get into the side so very much much fit and I loved his attitude Paul McGinley just a wedge coming up the hill brisk swing oh, that's a delicious shot and that's the way he's played coming into this event with a lot of talent a lot of flair and all the hard work with uh, Bob Torrance paying off and He's absolutely thrilled, loving it. Tiger Woods on the 15th, birdie putt. Europeans pretty close in two, so they have a putt now to win the hole. Tiger just can't find a way to read the greens at all this afternoon. He yeah, putted so well until the putt he missed at the eighth. The par four when Davis was a bit strong with the approach putt, and then promptly missed another one on the ninth. A similar sort of range, and he really hasn't come since then. So, Harrington with a birdie putt to win this match. Well, he has putted beautifully all uh, all week, really, Harrington. Uh, it's there, and uh, it's a four and three victory for the Irish against the Americans. Uh, Patrick Harrington and Paul McGinley, former World Cup winners, uh, getting the better of uh, the powerful partnership of Davis Love the third and uh, Tiger Woods. And what a lovely way for Paul McGinley to earn his first full point in a Ryder Cup match. He's had a couple of halves before now, but that would be sweet. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.